After you um, have successfully take the um, X-ray, you shall bring the X-ray from uh, to the chair side dark room for processing. Let me show to you what we have in the room. Okay, this is the place or the box where the X-ray solutions um, is placed. Inside this, there are um, four uh, tiny container containing the the very uh, the very left side um, uh, box. It contains the developer, right? Next to it is the water. The next to it is the fixer, and the most um, right side um, container is uh, again the water. So um, what you have to do is you will. Um, uh, use the clipper and, and clipped uh, your x-ray film right and placed okay you need to close this one first right and of course you have to wear your glove place both hands together with the x-ray film inside the box you will start to peel off your x-ray film and expose the film all right um, and you start with um, um, immerse your X-ray film in the developer first for 30 seconds, right? Um, it is not just put it in the solution and uh, keep still. You need to move a little bit, right? You need to um, stir, you need to make round, you know, anything that, that shows some movement, okay? For 30 seconds. Okay, this one in the developer solution. Next, you will wash it in the plain water. Okay, the container next to the developer um, solution. Okay, again for 30 seconds. And then you will uh, put your X-ray film in the uh, container which contain the fixer. Right, for 60 seconds. Alright, and after 60 seconds, again you wash it uh, uh, with water which is placed next to the uh, fixer container. Don't worry about the timing because they already placed um, a label here at the box. Uh, so it reminds you how, how long uh, you should uh, place your XFM firm in the uh, container. All right. Um, once you're happy with the um, X-ray film, you can take it out, wash it with the uh, tap water and then you can bring it to the clinic for um, drying. Uh, uh, I would like to remind all of you to uh, get the X-ray holder. Uh, if you remember the, whether it's blue, the yellow or the red one. Okay, after you use it in the X-ray room, you should bring it here and um, place it in this disinfectant solution. I would like to show to all of you how I'm going to process this um, X-ray film. All right. Um, by right, uh, you need to switch off the light, the room light. But for this recording purpose, I will keep this on. Okay. So uh, your left hand side will um, hold the uh, film. Your right hand, your right hand will hold this clipper. Okay. Please both hands okay you can see okay and you can start to peel your x-ray film envelope right okay that's the film use the clipper to clip the film take it out Right, that's the firm, and you want to place it in the developer for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, remember to keep on shaking it. Okay, do not keep still. Okay, another 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then you wash it with water next to it. Thirty second. Okay, once you're done with the water, with the plain water, okay, we're gonna fix it. Okay, place it in the container containing fixer for sixty second. Uh, that's quite long. Right, um, 60 seconds for the uh, plain water for the final rinsing. Okay. Right, now the x ray is ready. <laughs> Once you've done with the processing of the extra film, okay, you need to dry the film. Okay, there are a number of ways. Okay, uh, there are certain machines that they have a drying section. So when when once it, it, the after the final rinsing with the water, um, the machine will dry the film uh, for you. So it's 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 ready to be used. But um, um, if if the machine um, doesn't have this drying um, uh, section, uh, that means you have to do it manually. Okay, um, you can leave it um, or hang it uh, and leave it for twenty four hours, so it, it can dry uh, itself. All right, um, or you can use the dryer. You know the hair dryer. Okay, right. Uh, because we don't have these thing, uh, the things now. I'm just going to show you how the image will look like on the X-ray film. Okay, just now we took the peri apical for um, anterior teeth, right? Okay. So this is the image of um, tooth one one and two one peri apical view. Okay. Um, you can see the crown of the tooth and the uh, whole root length. 